This is a series of videos. Please refer to the methods of stitches, ignoring the yarn color. Select the corresponding yarn colors in your material package to turn. Please refer to both the videos and the instructional brochure during. Come up with the color of the subject. I use this light purple one today. Seven short needles from the ring. Let's wrap the little finger of the left hand first. Turn the little finger from the inside out to the inside. Then index finger. Then around the middle finger. Hold the thread of the middle finger with your thumb. Then take out the crochet hook from. Pass under this thread. Hook line. Then we have to crochet the needle pointing down. It's good to put it on my crochet hook before going to the thread. See my crochet directions. The crochet needle is turned up and back and pressed down. Then go through the loop on the crochet hook. Good. In this case, we will fix the circle. Next, let's see. The subject of our owl. Bottom is ring stitched. Just made a circle. Then include his wings. Eyes nose. All stitching methods are the same as this one. So everyone must learn this step first. After learning this step, it will not be difficult later on. After loop stitch. Let's take a look. There are seven short needles to be hooked in this circle. Then I can make this circle a little smaller. And then with our thumb and middle finger. Pinch this coil. Go through the middle of the coil and hook the thread. I'm from below. Catch up hook line. After ticking. Look at the two loops on the crochet hook. To loops on crochet hook. Pull the hook line through the two loops. When crocheting, my crochet needle is pressed down. Then when you pull through the coil, lift the crochet hook up. There will be a little space under the coil. Hook it like this. OK, so we have completed the first short stitch. After the short stitch is finished, we buckle the Marco buckle. Let's see how my mark buckle is deducted. Two Ys, one V-shape, two Ys. This is the first short stitch. Then we need to hook seven short stitches inside. Go through this coil. This circle goes over our crochet hook. This short piece of thread is also on top of our crochet hook. Every stitch goes through like this. Both threads are above the crochet hook. Connect it side by side. Every time you pass through, don't need to worry about it anymore. After passing through, hook the thread over and crochet the loops. Then hook the line through these two loops. The second short needle is good to continue the third short. Needle to go in. Hook to loops. Hook the line through these two loops. There are already three stitches here. Continue this is a short needle. Four. Five. Six. Seven well of sayar. I feel very tight when hooking the thread and can't pull it. Then you can try it for the first time. Loosen all the needles like this. Stretch it longer. 
can be dismantled later. You can remove this circle after it is ticked. Then tick it again. Now we have hook 7 stitches. Can count. Count from the V-shape of the mark to 1 to 3 for 5, 6, 7. The circle on the crochet hook doesn't count. Crochet below this one is good. We can now pull this short thread. Tighten the circle in the middle. Do you see it? If that's the case, there won't be any gaps left. Then we remove the marker buckle. After taking off the marking buckle, we are in. Just now we remove the stitch of the marking buckle. This is the first V-shape to go inside. Then hook the line. Hook over. Then pull the loop directly over the crochet hook. While pulling it over, drop this loop on the crochet hook. Pull it tight with this force. Do you see it? Pull down. If it's really not possible, we'll be like this. This thread is pulled from our index finger. Then pull this line inside. Tighten here. Then crochet it back on. Then put the thread on the index finger. Make it a little smaller on this line. In that case, we're a full first lap. Completed the referral. This is after the draw. We are full circle. There are a total of 7 stitches in this circle. Next we. Standing stitch is the hook thread directly through the loop. On the crochet hook. Good. This is a standing stitch. This is the first rising stitch of the second round. But it doesn't count as stitches. Our complete stitch counting begins now. The short pin of the hook is still the one to be fastened just now. It's still here. Still in this needle. Don't jump here. It's still the place closest to him. Still insert the needle in the first V-shape. Hook a short needle. Then continue to insert the needle into the same needle. Then what? Let's put the end of the thread on it. Put it on top of the crochet. Then hook short. Buckle mark mouth. What about here? Just hook two short stitches in the first stitch. This should allow you to see the two short needles clearly. Right. Then we are in each needle. Both hook to short needles. Put this thread on. This is to hide the thread. A short needle. Both needles are on the same eye. You can take a look. I was here just now. Here the two stitches are in the first stitch. Here the two stitches are in the second eye. Here, the circle inside each stitch. That is, two stitches are needed for each stitch. Two needles. Continue. Two needles. The thread I made behind to turns is. Take it long. Everyone can. After a while, you can cut it off. Of course it's okay if you don't cut it. But when ticking is to pay a little attention. Don't tick it.
OK, let's take off the Marco buckle. Well, you can also count first. 14 stitches after this circle. Start with this stitch of the Marco buckle. Count to the stitch below the hook. 24681014. Can you count the number of stitches on your side? It's better to take off the marking buckle here. Pull the hook thread directly through the upper loop of the crochet hook. This is called pulling needle. Good. End of second lap. Third circle hook. After the rising needle is hooked, crochet inside the first stitch. Then we buckle the mark buckle. Hook to stitches inside the second stitch. The rule here is one stitch and to stitches. Repeat the circle. Then we will tick here again. Below are two stitches. One stitch is one stitch in one eye. Two needles are short needles. Adding needles is to hook to short needles in one needle eye. One. Two. One is good, hook two in the next stitch. Then another stitch. Then there are two stitches. It's easier this time round. It's the tick in the singular. Shan is a hook in 13579. Hook to stitches inside even numbers. One stitch here is to stitches. This circle repeats to the end. We can take a look at our diagram. If purchasing a material package, we can take a look at our diagram. The above is written sevens. 15 is one short needle and one short needle plus needle. Just repeat. Outside the brackets is to repeat seven times. Just now we said one needle and two needles. One needle to needles is wrong. Repeated seven times. The end of this lap is equivalent to having this. This is the total number of stitches in this circle is 21 stitches. Next, if we do the next lap, it will be a short needle. Short needle plus short needle. In this way, three groups are repeated seven times. 